William Gein, head of the conservative, quote, anti-amnesty, anti-illegal immigration group, Americans for Legal Immigration PAC, uh, has come out with a statement that has absolutely nothing to do with immigration. I uh, just, boom, Lindsey Graham is gay. Wait, is that something to celebrate? I don't know. Uh, you know what? Republican senator from South Carolina is gay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Down goes Graham? All right. All right. By the way, what does William Gein know? Was he there? So don't think that Lindsey Graham is actually gay. We have no idea. Uh, but Gein seems very sure of himself. He says that, uh, well, the video he has up says U.S. Senator Graham is gay. So I guess that about explains it. But he goes on to say that being gay is a secret that Lindsey Graham has. Uh, the, he says, no, this is tough, Barney Frank is more honest and brave than you, he tells uh, the Republican senator from South Carolina. Uh, I'll give you more quotes. U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham is gay, and while many people in South Carolina and Washington, D.C. know that, the general public and Graham's constituents do not, and that he does not care about, <laughs> I love this part, he does not care about Graham's private life. No, of course not. That's why you outed him, whether you actually know or don't know. Uh, but in case you were a little confused as to whether he had this Gein character actually cares about uh, Graham's private life or not, you won't be confused after this quote. He said, I need to figure out why you're trying to sell out your own countrymen, and I need to make sure you're being gay, isn't it? Yeah, of course, I mean, we got to figure out. I mean, are you selling out people because, I don't know, you're getting paid, or is it because you're gay? What does being gay have to do with selling out your countrymen? Well, you know, Gein has an explanation for that. He says, um, no, it's because they might secretly be uh, blackmailing. Who? Uh, the black helicopters folks? Who, who's blackmailing Lindsey Graham about being gay? Uh, and the, who would care other than Republicans? <laughs> so, like, I got, a, I got a bone to pick with Lindsey Graham. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, just bring it down, okay? Uh, I, he's wrong on 95% of the issues. Like, people consider him a moderate Republican because he's reasonable in about 5% of the cases, and I think I'm really being generous here, right? And so for a Republican, that's, like, overwhelming. Guys like William Gein, et cetera, think that Lindsey Graham is, like, some uber-lib Maoist that's hanging out with Saul Alinsky and Barack Obama, right? So that's why he's trying to throw him under the bus. And if you're a conservative, what's the most damning thing you can say about anybody? Gay. <laughs> exactly. Gay. Right, there you go. Gay, right? So to the rest of us, I think, and what is that, how does that affect the 5% of the things that I agree with Lindsey Graham? On? How does that affect the 95% of the things I don't agree with Lindsey Graham? I mean, Lindsey Graham's framing of issues and how he was against torture, and then all of a sudden, I mean, people really have to be, go through um, enhanced interrogations, and they can't possibly get civil trials, even though Lindsey Graham was a, a JAG lawyer who, of course, earlier in his life fought for that. It said, I mean, these are all absurd things that Lindsey Graham has done, but whether he's straight or he's gay, they're equally absurd. So, but of course, for conservatives, they don't, I mean, I, I don't do their voodoo, so I can't get into their heads. You know, for them, that's like the end of the conversation. All right, well, look, Lindsey Graham makes a good point. On the other hand, he's gay. Since, you know, I mean, because they think God whispered in their ear that that's a really bad thing. You know, Dumbledore says being gay is bad. Okay, since I don't listen to Dumbledore, I, I, I don't care. Uh, so this is, and, okay, now, is Lindsey Graham gay? That's the other part of this. One, here's what I can tell you for sure. William Gein has no frickin' idea. Now, there's been rumors that, that Lindsey Graham is gay forever, and I always dismiss them. Uh, I, whenever I went to Washington, people would say, oh, Lindsey Graham is gay, uh, and Larry Craig is gay. And I was like, yeah, right, 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 Larry Craig is gay. Why would he be gay? So, well, that one turned out to be kind of true. Then that made me kind of reconsider the Lindsey Graham rumors. But oh, that's all they are. They're rumors. I mean, so what are you going to do? What's there to report on? I mean, Gein doesn't have anybody. He does. It's not like he has somebody who said, oh, yeah, yeah, I was with Lindsey Graham, et cetera, et cetera or he has any evidence, or he has any facts. But then again, he's a conservative, so why would he need evidence or facts? So, uh, 
you know, if you're a conservative and you're going to, that's Gein on the left there, if you're going to hold it against Lindsey Graham, well, you're an idiot anyway. What am I going to do? Convince you not to hold it against Lindsey Graham? Uh, and if you're a liberal, what do you care? No, you don't, right? So, I mean, it's fun. Now, look, if it's confirmed and then they get into Lindsey Graham's voting record and he was anti-gay, right, then we'll have that conversation, right? And I know his voting record, okay? But today, I can't help but def defend him a little bit because of this attack on him as if being gay is a problem with Lindsey Graham. That's the least of Lindsey Graham's problems. It's not a problem at all. Whereas he has a ton of problems in politics. Uh, but look, if they keep driving people from the party like, they, like this, they're going to have nobody left. They're like, yeah, we cleaned out the gays and the blacks and the Hispanics and we cleaned out everybody. Who's left? What happened? Where'd the party go? Party's over, dude. That's what happened to your party because of clowns like this.